so we learned about latitudes in the earlier video now let's say for example this is the earth which is there okay and uh, you may come back to me that again it is flat over here so we learned about the zero degree latitude right which is also known as the equator and then there are lots of other of them so let's say for example you have 20 degree north latitude now if I tell you that you know there is a place which lies on 20 degree north latitude can you find it out just by this information the answer is well you will get an approximate idea as to where it is you will not be able to exactly trace it why because 20 degree north latitude can be here it can be here it can be here it can be here it can be anywhere else on this latitude to locate the exact place you need to know where exactly it is and for that there's a concept of longitudes now what are longitudes longitudes are basically lines which run from the north pole to the south pole right and again just like you have 20 degree north over here each of the longitudes also have a reference point now when the question was how do you basically number them because if you notice this there is a distance between two longitudes right all of them actually this distance if you see is more as you see on the equator side and it basically comes down to zero as you reach the north pole right this distance again is measured in degree which are subdivided into minutes which are subdivided into seconds just like the normal clock timing you have right to see as to how do you take the starting point we have something which is called the zero degree longitude this is known as the prime meridian the prime meridian is zero degree longitude okay and it is something similar to equator this also divides the earth into two equal halves two equal halves right and these equal halves are known as the western hemisphere and the southern hemisphere sorry the eastern hemisphere <coughs> pardon me right so the distance that you measure on the east side so let's say this is west this is east so you will have let's say 20 degree east longitude right now one of the interesting things that you have about these meridians are that they are all equal in length the length of all the longitudes is equal right so the length of this is equal the length of this is equal and the length of this is equal now tell me how do you find a place the initial question that i had so if i tell you that basically something lies on 20 degree north latitude and 20 degree east longitude then what you will do is you'll see where is the 20 degree north latitude it's this particular line and in this line where is 20 degree east it is this particular point so the place should actually lie over here so by the use of the latitudes and the longitudes you can actually exactly find out where a particular place is and one more thing which i should tell you about the prime meridian okay which is over here this prime meridian when it was identified as zero degree longitude it was required or it was actually observed that it passed through a place called greenwich here the British Royal Observatory was located and that's why all the countries decided that let this be the place from where we want to take the zero degree longitude. I hope this has been clear for you. Thank you for being with us today.